Hi everyone. Back with more Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm trying to figure out how to activate this one. And unfortunately, we got to hunt for a cave at the bottom of a hill, which is a fantastic descriptor. And I've already been through one cave. Obviously did not find what I was looking needing or whatever. I mean the bottom of hill really tells me where I need to go. So I figured I would just wander around. Look real quick. And there's a talus on the prowl. Let's take a look. Do we see any caves? I do not see any. just have to skip this tower. saw was that one cave. Now how do I get up onto you? I do not want to mess with you. And I climb that tree root. I don't know if I have enough stamina. I do have some stamina. Oh, holy crap. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh my god, what is going on? How do I let go? Run! Run! What? Oh no. I'm dead. Let go of me. Oh. I need to get out of here. Well, I'm dead. Where are you gonna put me? I have to admit, they came up with a lot of creative enemies in this game. How about I go this way? Or are you just always going to be around this one particular shrine? I just don't know how to deal with them. I mean, they're in malice and they're so fast. Oh, here they are again. Hopefully they cannot come up here. Now 
I still don't see no caves. Okay, they are dropping pretty quickly. Should be good. Ooh, just barely. If I'm going to be able to solve this tower one. A bouncy device. All of these shrines are very mechanical in nature. Now this, I do not understand how to operate. I hit it. Nope, oh, let go. Come on, Link. Work with me. Okay. That startled me. Okay, that worked. Perfect. Alright, you should be good there. And we are going to put you right over here. Whoops. I guess I could just pick you up. That may work easier. Now, I do not want to attach you. Oh, almost perfect. Oh, it actually might be perfect. Come on. There you go. Oh, two springs. Oh, is that what I need to do? You sure are taking a long time. Just go in there. Come on. <laughs> This is seriously going to work. Ooh. Almost. Almost. I think if I add a third one, that might be enough. Put you up here. Uh, before I do that, is that gonna work? Oh, 
Why do you keep attaching weirdly? There we go. This is all off kilter. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Now we have to go back to figuring out this tower. There's something in there. I did not want to attach you. Now the problem is I got no arrows. Okay. Cave at the bottom of the hill. I mean, how far do you consider to be bottom of the hill? That's what I don't understand. I see a Korok seed up there. I mean, that's gotta be the cave. You know what? I wonder if I could use a send. Where'd you go? There you are. Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah. You're lucky I don't have a rock. Yeah, so I just kept thinking there's got to be a mu uh, some mushrooms that I can take back to him. Some, like, strength mushrooms. And then he could pry open those doors, but maybe I need to use a send to get inside. Maybe that was the purpose. Oh, and I don't have... Can I use this? That's really a no. Is there another way of using this? Hey, it doesn't just light up. <laughs> uh. Okay, so that is another way of doing it. But it hurts you. And I think I kind of need to go. Down there.
Now, how about... Let's try this. Oh, you joking. Oh, no. Well, for science. Oh, no. This is probably going to kill me. Okay. Ooh, quarter of a heart. Oh, I hear one of them. I want the big boulder. Oh. And I need to eat, too. Oh, come on down. There we go. All right. I feel like right here is probably good. Yep. <laughs> How'd you get inside? I wondered if he was actually going to react to me being in here. Oh. It's broken and he needs inside. Okay, is that why? Now can we open it? Oh. Yeah, someone put some stupid sticks by the door. <laughs> uh. Just a little oil fixed in electrical malfunction. Don't know about that. Man, I never get tired of this cutscene. It was just so cool seeing the tower, uh, tower light up and you getting shot up into the sky. Perfect. More of the map. And some more sky islands. <laughs> so I'll try to make it over to this one. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Oops, hit a little too hard. Have I been to this one? I'm not. S oh, there's a shrine up here.
What is this? Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it to the shrine. Oh, the crystal's way over there. Can I interact with you? Yes, I can. Oh. Oh, okay. Does that help me? I am not sure. That is a gigantic luminous stone. Okay, you're doing it multiple times, I was about to say. Why would I want to do that? Unless it's to go up there. That's after I solved the shrine. Okay. I see what we need to do. So we're going to move this back over, and I'm going to use that to jump over. I almost jumped right there. If I had, I would have fallen. That would have been bad. That's perfect. Hopefully this has enough of a... I think so. Perfect. In fact, it shot me all the way over here. Now the question is, can I just... I mean, probably not. Ooh! Okay, do not jump while using the grab. Okay, that is not close enough. You know what? I'm going to put you more towards the middle, just in case. There we go. Actually, can I attach you? No. I don't want the whole thing to spin and just fling it off.
That's what I was afraid of. That it was going to move or topple over. I'm glad I moved it more towards the center. This should be just an easy one. I just walk in and claim my prize. Well, we got one of the little sky islands finished. Yeah, this area is so cool looking. up to five. Now I can check out the other island. Maybe even hop over and grab some of those luminous stones. That should be perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, I did not press R quick enough. Lucky for you, I got another one. Plenty now. I'm surprised there wasn't a Korok up here. Behind you, Link. Behind you. Alright, what is in this chest? Sage's will, a small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in your hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. Well, that was certainly interesting. I'm sure glad I came over here. And I did not press R quick enough. Therefore, I'm doomed to float down. Go over here real quick. So I don't think this has been activated yet. And I'm curious, how many of those stones do I have? I'll throw in three. See what happens. Uh. 
I do not think I was supposed to put those in there. It was the charges, I think it was. There we go. A time bomb. A device for timed explosion. Plus blast can activate other, okay. I came across one of those before and I wasn't sure what it was or what it did. Oh, I'm gonna miss it, Link. A hardy radish. And I thought I saw a chest hanging from a rope. Yeah, I do. Question is, how do you get that? And I got nothing there. Okay. I think I'll have to come back to this. Where should I go? Better yet, which way am I facing? Okay, there is Zor's domain. So... See another island right over here. Okay, that's interesting. That's a pretty quick fall. Okay. That's something to consider. A sky dragon right there. Trying to get my orientation. Okay, there's Twin Peaks. Or well, the Dueling Peaks. And that's the direction I want to go. Whoops. I just let go. Let's head onward. Onward to on Pateno Village. Any other shrines? Don't think so. And I think I've been on this bridge before. Huh. 
Yeah, we've talked. You told me I need to go over to Fort. Because Haas is over there. Let's head back over here, get some more arrows, and then we'll head off. And then we still need to go to Elden and find the musicians so I can get the great fairies out of their little flowers. Yes, you got some more. Wow! Yay! Yeah, I'm good. As long as I have a couple, I'm pretty happy. Come on, come on. Ah, it took you forever. Hey! Ah! Oh. oh. Member system. So you need to register. Uh, no, I already know. Uh. No, nope, I already know about that too. Uh. What are pony points? A reward system uses stables. Every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to. You get points for lodging and registering. Earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards. Oh. Huh, what kind of prizes do I get? Ah. Receive an a reward. Aye. Oh. Ah. Say what? Save up two more points. I was hoping to give me a list or like a brochure. Be like, hey, once you have these many points, you can get this. That is not how it seemed to be working. Some more tomatoes. And then which one of these trees are going to come out and try to hurt me? I do want to go up this tree though. These big trees look like they might have something. Oh, just eggs. And I don't remember which way the fortress is. I just know it's in this general direction. more of these that I absolutely hate. Yeah. I need to find Hetsu. Uh-oh. We got a big boy. And he's got armor on his legs. So I'm probably not going to want to mess with him.
and of course he's going to be turning in the direction I want to go. Yep, he saw me. Crap, crap. Alright, just keep going. He'll tire himself out. Hey y'all, guess what I just brought you? You see him? Where are you going? Oh, right over here. Oh, wow. These look like some bad boys. Yep. Got blues and blacks. Ooh, okay. No. Oh, damn. Oops. Ooh, that's not good. So a ruby on the end causes fire. to get some more health. And I need a new weapon. There we go. Everyone is knocked out. Yes, 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 give me that. Ooh, I was not prepared for this. Ah, uh, I love this one. I'm going through these weapons like crazy. No way. Oh, he just seriously rammed me with his horn. I did not know they could do that. Well, that sucks. Oh, it was so close. Ooh, you put me close. Alright. Round two. Ooh. 
something bigger. For me. Do I have any big weapons? is hard hitting. Uh, okay, nope. Don't need to run into the spikes. Nope. Get off the spikes. Holy crap, dude. He is targeting me. Okay, I, I am tired of you. Absolutely tired. Get off. Oh, darn. I'm absolutely through with you. Well, not what I wanted to do. Ooh, no. Oops. That was not what I wanted to pick up. Finally. <laughs> oh, another incredible battle. Thank you, I needed that. I need some more arrows. Oh. Yeah, that's the only bad thing. Because once the blood mood comes back, 
they'll be right back. Alright, next time before I go into a battle like that, I'm going to be upgrading some of my weapons. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the Calamity. Zelda. Yeah, I mean, tactically, she would have seen it in its heyday. Before Calamity Gaddon arose and destroyed it. I wanted to check this out. Huh. Ooh, okay. I did not know those spit rocks. Crab, I did not know you were down. There we go. It's tedious, but it gets the job done. There we go. Clear up some of my inventory. Alright, this thing. I no longer have my fire shield. This is a different one. Whoops. Uh. There we go. <laughs> so that one was covered in rocks, but you gotta break off and then you can use your normal attacks. Uh, yeah, that would probably be best. Instead of trying to climb up on the wall like I did last time. Come on, pick it up. You're right there in front of me. have for me. Uh, I do want that. Let's see. Fuse has already been used. Okay. Sweet. 
What is down here? Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Come on. At least they're simple. Just hit him a couple of times and you're good. Big rock. I could probably do it with this one. <laughs> rock salt. There was nothing valuable there. Okay, back to the fort and on our way. Oh, no. Leave me alone. There's another shooting star. Okay, good. They're not going to follow me. Because I actually need to do some cooking. some of these in the future. Alright, what else do I want? Cold resistance. Let's see. Okay, that'll be good for that. Restore stamina. I think that should be good for a while. Sort this and save. 
All right, I think I've got enough food for the journey. I need to keep my eye out for some hardy truffles. Which, surprisingly enough, I've not seen a whole lot of. It seemed like in Breath of the Wild, you know, they were all over the place. Nothing, nothing in that barrel. Got some rushrooms. Yep. Okay. Just a rock. Sneaky. It shocked the fish. Maybe they didn't see me. Oh, no, they definitely saw me. How can you see me from all the way over there? There we go, just disperse already. Let's go check out this cabin. Is there anyone in here? Does not look like it, but I can leave. And I can sleep. Callop's Journal. They're calling it the upheaval, apt name for it, I'd say. Strange ruins fell from the sky onto the plains west of here. There are reports of spindly mechanical monsters. This sort of thing is happening all over Hyrule, apparently. I'm fortunate that neither I nor my home were harmed, but such an event is sure to be sure have caused major damage elsewhere. The more outlandish rumors suggest that Hyrule Castle has risen into the sky. Rather difficult to credit that one. What could have caused all this? I can feel the desire to find the truth welling up within me. I received the visitor. He was a researcher from some outfit, some outfit calling themselves the Zonai Re Survey Team. He claimed to be merely passing through the area, but clearly he had come to draw on my expertise. According to his story, large rumors have fallen on Kakariko Village, or la large ruins have fallen on Kakariko Village northwest of this house. People are calling them the Ring Ruins. A great many inquisitive types like me are gathering in Kakariko Village to investigate them. I see little choice but to join them. Without my intellect, they're bound to leap to, bound to, leap to all the wrong conclusions. Man, this guy is sure full of himself. The man history, history will remember as the, green, the genius Dr. Caleb shall solve this mystery faster than I can clean my glasses. My preparations are complete. It's time for me to depart for Kakariko Village. I foresee a day not long off when all the members of this survey team address me with the respect and my proper title. I will not return to this house until I am known by all as the doctor, nay, as a genius. This area has long been plagued by monsters, so I will leave this house in good order as a place for refuge. To you, traveler, who might read what I have pinned here, rest well. You are, of course, welcome to any of the things I have left behind. 
so this is where Dr. Callop lives. I should burn down his house for good measure. Got some bluebirds. Oh, you again. And let me guess, your friend is like way the hell up top somewhere. Of course. Well, good luck to you. Yep, good luck. I'm not interested in building a bridge for you. I mean, technically I could probably build a raft and use some of my fans that I have stored. But I don't feel like it. My only goal is to get to the village. Let's see, are you gonna be an easy one? Of course not. Oh, actually, you know what? Can I really combine that? Okay, don't know how well that would work out. Oh, are you joking? Yeah. I'm going to solve this problem. It really needs you to attach all the way down there. Did not know that could hurt. You know what? I'm trying a different approach. Can I fit this in here? Yes, I can. But you do not stay. Let's try this again. Uh. Alright, let's see if that'll hold you. Mm -hmm. If not, you're on your own, buddy. Another ah. bomb flower. I mean, sure, why not? I could always use some bombs. Surely there's a shrine somewhere here.
Oh, there you are again. Stop to eat a little bit of something real quick. I was starting to get a headache. Now, where is your friend this time? Well, guess what? We are actually going in the same direction. So, I guess I will take you with me. Whoops. Ha <laughs> ah. ha! Sorry, I guess. Hope you're not hurt. <laughs> There's got to be like a better way of doing this. And I'm sure I could do a cart, but I just really don't feel like it. I know this is the slow and difficult way, but... Ah, you didn't get me. I really need to put him down and check and see if I'm even going in the right direction. There you go. Wait. Yeah. Whoops. Hey, he's just right up ahead. You know what? This might be a bad idea. I was like, you know what? I'll just cut through the forest. But I'll be willing to bet there are some nasty trees in here. Oh, someone's trying to hit me. Almost there. Ateno Village. There's mushrooms all over the place. Where is... Oh. I went right past him. There you go. Now give me my seeds. Thank you. There are giant mushrooms. Giant mushrooms. There are mushrooms all over the place. What has happened with all of y'all? Oh, I was sure you were major... Um, Mayor Reed, coming to talk for a bit. Did all this fashion business bring you to town? Folks came to ha Hateno Village for the vi veggies, but now they show up for the gaudy getup. The veggies? Growing pumpkins. Oh yeah, you have several kinds of farms. I want to know more. Mm -hmm. CC's outfits. World famous designer. It's the tacky one on the left as oh. you enter the gates. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, good lord. What kind of outfits? Wonder what kind of outfits they are gonna have. I need some arrows. Yeah. Ever since CC set up shop in this place across the way, Hateno has made a name for itself with fresh fashion. Before that, though, it was a farming community from way back. We're a self sufficient little burg. We eat what we harvest and sell the oh. rest. I'll tell you what, you haven't lived until you've tried a bottle of fresh milk straight from Hateno pasture. Head up onto the pasture when you get a minute. You'll be glad you did. Oh. Oh. Uh, all of them. Ha. Oh. Sweet. Okay. You got the usual. Now let's check out this gaudy shop. Wow. As I've said multiple times, I can't admit three customers at present. What do you mean? You took the trouble to come here and now you're saying we can't get in? What I wanted to see was CC's new outfit. It's not every day a mega famous fashion designer debuts new material. Yeah, everything I've heard said this was some of CC's best work. I'm so, so sorry, but we only have one entry ticket remaining. Well, y'all can give it to me. Okay, one's gonna go to the pasture, one's going to the dye shop, one's going to the laboratory. Are you also a tourist who's come to see my sister? Nothing you'll see is for sale. It's only on expedition right now. Well, I'm sure I'm not gonna want any of it, so. Okay, that's what you've made. No. Ah, another practically perfect masterpiece. It's an exemplar of the form from every angle. This is the sort of thing on which I built my name and reputation as the renowned CC. Uh -huh. Oh, pardon me. Are you an admirer here to meet the incomparable CC? Huh, I must say, you don't seem to show any sort of interest in fashion. Ooh. Welcome to Vintest Clothing, the only boutique in the world which carries the CC brand. And if you weren't aware, you stand before the very woman who changed this fussy old village into the birthplace of Nouveau fashion. As proof, I present this to you. No. The CC hat, the newest and most magnificent work. Magnificent work. <laughs> eh, it's alright. Do you see that luxurious curve? What you call it, the pinnacle of perfection? This piece is so special that I dare not assign a price to it. It's not for sale. I shall only part with it when I find someone truly worthy of owning it. Only the most impressive fashionista in Hyrule, Hyrule's trendiest village, village is worthy of such a crown. Wow, is this the mayor? Yep, Mayor Reed. I'm so sorry, I really tried to stop him from coming in like you asked. But he wouldn't take no for an answer. Cece, you've got to quit littering the village with the weird art pieces. Maybe you don't realize, but plants need their sleep too. Those eyesores are so bright at night that they're keeping the veggies awake. It's a real problem for the crops. Yeah, you're upset about the mushrooms. Mm. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh, mayoral election. So you gotta decide between the two. Uh oh, it's a race off between the two. Got a long to do list in preparation for the election. Uh, uh, what do I choose? I'm a read voter, sorry. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I did not want to choose her and then uh, get stuck into some some decision. She saddled me with so much work. The thing I need your advice on is my sister Cece. She's been sneaking out alone in the middle of the night. I don't think it's anything sinister, but the election is soon. So I'd like you to tell my sister. Oh. Okay. So now I gotta come back here at night and follow her and find out what her secret is. Uh -huh. Love's fire burns forever. Uh -huh. A weirdly handsome dude? Really? Miss Evie? Ivy? Who's uh -huh. Ivy? Poster girl for East Wind General Store. Just keep it naive. Uh -huh. Is that the same guy I had to get crickets for? No, I, I think that was someone else. Okay, we got the die shop. Has not changed. Oh, look. There's a new building up there. First, I want to go up here. Whoops. I think we're missing a house. Get some of these frogs. And we'll climb in the well real quick. Sure one of those. And there are a ton of frogs. Oops, I want to crouch. Oh, that one disappeared. Well, I see you bats up there. Waiting. Uh, what was back this way? Is this going to lead out somewhere? Come on. Darn it. What, what are you trying to do? Okay. New plan. Oh, damn. 
Oh wow. I really stumbled into it. This is a lot bigger cave than what I was expecting. Yes, yes, I want all this. I want all of this. Because I need it for the depths. I mean, I thought having a hundred of them was overkill. Until I went to the depths. Alright. Let's ascend. It's always a little bit difficult to get that last one. There's got to be one of those loopy frogs. Huh. Oh. I see you over there. What are you going to shoot at me? Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh no. <laughs> Crap. Startled me. All right. Come on. There we go. Alright. Try it again. Oops. Uh, sure. See here. Not what I wanted to do. Uh, I want that. Go and drop that. Let's see. Give me something good. You know, I've not come across a single diamond. And I've come across like a ruby and a sapphire, but no diamonds. goes my bow. I'm really running low. Uh, about this. Okay, I'm back here. Uh, no, 
Oh, so close. So close. Can I stand on this and then open it? Yes, I can. Yep. Wow. Is that a metal shield? Hmm. You know what? I will leave that be. Because I think it might be a good idea to have at least one wooden shield. Something I'm hating is they still have this durability bullcrap in this game. Yep, got that one. I want to equip that one. That'll be perfect. Okay, so this is just another well entrance. That is so strange. Come on. I want this brown one. Dang it. I'm surprised I did not come across one of those bloopy frogs. Sweet. I'll have to circle back to my uh, house though. I wonder if this is Balsam Construction Company Headquarters. Help wanted. Apply to become a teacher. Want to ch show children, children the joy of learning. Inquire at the school. Is this a school? It is. Oh, we got Link. I think that's Link. And Cuckoos. Okay. So they built the school for the village. School notes. School evaluations. Aster is one of Meta's children. She's a very active student, active girl. I believe we have Meta to thank for the charming bob cut she sports. She loves her father and always wants to talk about his comings and goings. Lately, she's been especially focused on the Hylian tomatoes Meta is growing. For the time, she seems out of sort after Miss Cece's bought their house next to the closing shop. But she was back to her usual bright self soon enough, noting that her new home is cute and colorful and close to Froggy. She has a real knack for finding the silver lining in every situation. Karen is the only daughter of the mayor and his wife. She's, heart she's kind hearted but shy and seems to lack self confidence. She's very perceptive, though. She has a way of seeing right through the core of things. I'm sure you know, Princess, that Major Reed has been breeding vegetables to appeal to the younger generation. It was Karen who first noticed that her peers were losing interest in produce. 
She figured this out based on nothing but the number of customers and the total items in stock at the general store. I see her one day becoming a scholar to rival Pura, possibly even surpass her. Azu is the brother of Evie from the general store, but he'll tell you his true identity is Azu, the big time hero. He and Safero used to be inseparable, but ever since the dye shop started getting more clients, Azum has been left to patrol after school alone. Although his mother is Amaria, one of the town gossips, she keeps a close eye of his own. He keeps a close eye of his own on the goings on within the village. It may seem like simple child's play, but people really do straighten up when they know they're being watched. As long as he's on patrol, I think we have nothing to fear in Hateno Village from any would-be evildoers. Sefero is the son of Sa son of Sage from the dye shop. He's a bit of a firebrand, but also one of the brightest students. After class, he always selects a book to read quietly by himself. He already reads at an adult level and doesn't shy away from difficult subjects, such as the calamity. The family business has been blooming ever since CC came to town which be, may make it hard for him to study at home. Sage has an artisan spirit and would rather have his son helping out at the store than going to school. But everyone learns differently. I want our school to be a place where children can get an education no matter what their needs. I understand you've been heading, I understand you'll be heading soon to Hyrule Castle to investigate the, stra the reports of strange phenomena there. I trust you'll be fine with Link at your side. Nevertheless, I can't shake this strange tightness in my chest. It's similar to what I felt right before the calamity, come to think of it. The children know you as Miss Zelda, their beloved teacher and mentor. Oh, was Zelda a teacher here? So I guess after the calamity, Zelda and her came back to Hateno and I guess lived in his house and she became a teacher. But I know that Princess Zelda's duties are wider ranging than that. Take care, Princess, and return to us soon. Or maybe she lived here and you lived in your own house. Who are you? Are you the teacher? Hi. Yep, I'm back. Well, you see, it's a long story. Yep, I figured that out. Okay, so I'll have to swing back by here in the morning. Alright, let's go check out my house. Can I take these? Nope. That's a shame. Come on. I need to recruit some of my losses. Oh, damn it. Just missed him. Dream of owning your own home? Come down to Tari Town. We'll build it just the way you saw in your dreams. Hudson Construction. I said balsam earlier. It's Hudson. Sweet. Nothing new over here. And then there's my house. Where's my sign? I used to have a sign out front that said Link's Home or something like that. Ah, sweet. Everything is just like it should. With a few new additions. Who's that? And they got rid of my weapon mounts. Go 
golden horse. Is this even my home anymore? That's a bit of a shame if it's not. <laughs> Sell this secret well. Ooh. Yes, please. Well worn hairband. Okay. Zelda's diary. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems standing between, before us even as we begin to re rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That's why I put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that. The torches are the key. Huh. I can't exactly get into the throne room because the castle is floating in the air. Hmm. Okay. And I saw a lone rock over here, which smells like a Korok. Or Kakuri, whatever they called. Yep. I smelt you from a mile away. There you go. You'll wish you'll never hit under a rock before. There used to be an evil statue over here. I guess that evil statue no longer exists. Yeah, it was like right here. So the evil statue is no more. Well, at least we got a little look at Hateno Village. I'm going to end it right here. Because there's still the shrine to do. And then we have to go up to the ancient laboratory. And there's a tower all the way up on top of Lanaru. Yep, so that'll be a whole big journey in itself. So I will end it right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.